Hello and welcome back here to Talking FCB and welcome to the channel. We are group winners. We are successful once again in the Champions League group stage, topping our group once again this season and giving ourselves every chance of a possible more favourable draw in the next round. But to be honest, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't really mind what kind of draws we get in the next round. The most important thing is that we are there. Whoever we face, we've got to come up against them. We've got to beat them. There's still one game to go, of course, in the group. But it is nice now knowing that our top spot is secured and the fact that we play Borussia Mönchengladbach at home in the final group game. And now there's nothing on that. We can rest players. We can rotate. And it's a really, really nice gap and a nice rest that we can have on that game day, which will really give us a good chance then in the league games surrounding that fixture so it's nice that we've wrapped it up tonight and we've wrapped it up in absolutely fantastic fashion going to Celtic Park going there in cr in front of that crowd you heard them tonight they were very very vocal they're always like that it's a close pitch um to the crowd and you saw what it was like you know there was a few theatrics towards the end from Neymar there was a few arguments a few bad challenges and the crowd can really get on top of you and suffocate you inside that stadium as we have seen in the past you know it's not always been the case that going to Celtic Park is easy we've gone there and lost um, not so long ago really uh, and, and just after that in our last meeting there we only just won thanks to a Cesc Fabregas header so this was by no means going to be an easy game particularly after the weekend or the scrutiny that was going with that the nil nil draw with Mal which is for me quite unfortunate since then there was a lot of questions about Luis Enrique the tactics the style the absence of Lionel Messi possibly the misfiring nature of Neymar a player is going to come back into form tonight once again we saw a response we did exactly the same um, just the other week you know we'd gone away we'd, we'd not had a great result against Manchester City then we'd had a tough game on the weekend against Sevilla where we bounced back we came together we did well and we came out with a result and certainly tonight was the case we went in there with a good attitude we look confident right from the word go. Luis Enrique selected quite a strong 11, one of the strongest that we have available to us right now with all the injuries, of course. Nice to see Jordi Alba return to the starting lineup. He's a particular player that I'm going to focus on today because I think he really did make the difference down that left-hand side. And there's a very, very notable difference of Neymar when Jordi Alba is in the team. And that was very much highlighted in that first goal. It came from Lionel Messi, but it was all down that left-hand side. You know, we were really giving Celtic a good run. Uh, Jordi Alba was getting in behind on numerous occasions, getting into those final third areas that he loves to gobble up. You know, he's got so much pace, so much athleticism to get into those last and final thirds of the pitch sometimes he doesn't always produce the, the final ball you'd want him to but the most important thing he is constantly working those defenders and midfielders who are having to track him into those areas and that in itself gives Neymar that valuable space and that valuable time which he used to full full avail in that first goal Jordi Alba makes that run down the left-hand side. There's a combination play between him and Neymar. And for all means, I don't think Denier is a bad uh, player at all. I think he's done a decent job while Alba's injured. But the thing that Alba gives us going forward is a lot of pace. And certainly his combination play and his relationship with Neymar on the pitch is certainly much more advanced than Denier at the moment, simply because of experience. Him and Neymar combine very, very well. They understand each other. And that was highlighted today. Jordi Alba was flying down the wing, stretching the back four. And then uh, Neymar sort of came inside. He had a little bit of time on the ball and he showed his class brilliantly he played a lovely lofted ball over the top of the defence brilliantly weighted right into the path of Lionel Messi again the understanding between those two there was highlighted Messi takes no touch at all gets it out of his feet and bang straight in the back of the net left foot volley it squeezes itself in at the near post and we have a very very valuable lead I think it was really important tonight to get that first goal we had a few chances before that particularly Lionel Messi didn't look 100% sort of fresh you know we know he's been suffering with a little bit of illness early on in the game as well he was clutching his leg he didn't look 100% sort of fit but he came through the game and he certainly grew as the game went on. We saw the sort of Messi in that second half against Sevilla the other week. He was running, he was full of energy by the end of the game, he was closing players down, he was winning the ball back and it was again a very, very complete performance for Messi and he got the, th the two goals tonight which gave us that eventual victory. The second goal came from quite clever play from Luis Suarez. He receives the ball with his back to his defender and he sort of uses that weight, that experience that he has to sort of turn him. The defender has got his arms around Luis Suarez and he's 
Driver, he's cute, he goes down, and of course, when you've got your arms wrapped around him, the pressure is there, Suarez falls, it's a penalty, you know, there's no arguments about that. Lionel Messi then steps up to take it against Craig Gordon, who made a fantastic save earlier on in the game from a Luis Suarez header. It just doesn't seem to be going in at the moment for Luis Suarez. He hit the post uh, from an offside position, and he hit the post again at the end of the game when played in by Lionel Messi. It just wasn't quite Suarez's day, but I do believe that very, very soon we are going to see the prolific Suarez that we saw last season. I wouldn't doubt that at all. He's getting into the positions, he's doing well, he's making the right runs. He's not really lacking in confidence. I think Suarez goes through that. I think he's a confident player. I think he believes in his ability like he should do. He's a very, very good player. We know that. The goals for him will come very soon. We've just got to wait and we've just got to be confident in himself in that. But like I say, yeah, the goal came, the second goal from the penalty. Lionel Messi steps up to it, confident as always, and he just places it straight down the middle. Wasn't the most convincing penalty you're ever going to see, but Lionel Messi got the job done straight down the middle. The goalkeeper dives, it's 2-0. And from that moment then, it was it was game over. You know, Celtic launched a few counterattacks through Moussa Dembele. Sinclair caused a few problems on the break. But other than that, it was quite minimal from Celtic, really. They gave a good account of themselves. They didn't really disgrace themselves at all. They put in a good fight. But I just think it shows tonight the sort of of superiority that we do have we came here we controlled the possession we controlled the game we created a number of chances we looked good in front of goal we looked relatively strong at the back there was a few lapses in concentration between PK Mascherano Alba at the, uh, in the second half uh, when there was a fail failure to clear the ball at one stage but other than that there wasn't an awful lot to trouble us and I think we, should, we came tonight and we just you know we threatened Celtic in every single area and in the end I think we thoroughly deserve to win the game you know you saw Man City come here and they were sort of put off by the atmosphere they were intimidated a little bit by Celtic but we came here tonight with all the experience that we've got I think Luis Enrique chose his team very very wisely a lot of experience in there and they dealt with the crowd very very well they dealt with the expectations and with Manchester City drawing away at Borussia Mönchengladbach we have gone top of the group and we are now like I say group winners a very very important result tonight and I think it's fully deserved I think after we lost to Manchester City, like always, there's going to be some people who are doubting us. There's going to be some people who are sort of saying, it's just going to be the season where Barcelona finished second in their group. Are um, Manchester City and Pep Guardiola about to eclipse them? That, for me, was never on the cards. I think Man City had, haven't been at all convincing during the, this uh, group stage. I don't really think they were convincing when they beat us a few weeks ago either. We had our moments in that game to kill that game off. We were unlucky by all accounts. Tonight against Mönchengladbach, they did go behind. They did get back to one all three uh, David Silva. There was two red cards in that game, one for either side. In the end, it finished 1-1, which means the group su suddenly uh, stays like this. Barcelona, top of the group on 12 points. Manchester City on eight points in second. Only one point behind, uh, sorry, only three points behind them is Mönchengladbach and Celtic are bottom in that group with two points. So, Seems, of course, like we are a confirmed group winners. But in terms of the rest of the group, Man City look as though they're going to progress. Anything uh, but a loss against Celtic in their final game will give them uh, qualification. But, of course, should the Celtic do the improbable at uh, the Manchester Stadium, then possibly Mönchengladbach could make it through. Because, of course, like I said, we already qualified. Mönchengladbach, uh, we're going to come into the game and try and win it. We're possibly going to rest a few players at the camp now. So if the shot was to happen and they were to beat us in that game, Man City would would have to avoid defeat against Celtic uh, at the Etihad Stadium. That seems for me unlikely. It seems that it's going to be ourselves and Manchester City going through in that game. Looking around elsewhere, Bayern Munich suffered a shock defeat to Rostov earlier on today, meaning that Atletico Madrid are going top of their group and will stay top of their group throughout this group stage. So they're confirmed group winners. That means Bayern Munich are going to be going into the pot second, which means that we are possibly going to risk facing Bayern Munich in the next round. Uh, other big games tonight were Arsenal against PSG. That ended 2 all, which means that if they both win their last two games... PSG will progress from that as group winners because Arsenal tonight drew with two all, but they only drew one all at the Parc de Prince. On head-to-head -head record, PSG have more away goals, meaning they would progress as group winners if they win on the final day in that group, which means once again, we could be lined up with a very, very special tie against Arsenal. We do like facing Arsenal in the group stage and they are a real possibility going forward. Of course, last night, Real Madrid won with another last-minute winner against Sporting Lisbon. They're going to be battling it out with Dortmund to get top spot, but one of those two teams will be in the draw for second place. If it's Real Madrid that finish runner-up in that group, 
group, we will not have any chance of facing them because in the next round, you cannot face teams of your own nationality. So all Spanish teams are ruled out in the next round should they get drawn in that row. So it's going to be very, very interesting. I think the Champions League this season is a very, very good competition. There's a number of good teams involved in it. Everything's going sort of to plan. We're going to have the biggest teams, the best teams in the knockout stage, which is very, very good to see. Very, very exciting indeed. But most important thing tonight was that we got our momentum back. We've got an absolutely massive game now away to Real Sociedad going to the Anahuata, trying to break that curse. This weekend, absolutely huge. Do not miss it. We have to win the game. We've got to beat Sociedad at the Anahuata. Then we've got to go into the Clasico, all guns blazing. The camp now is going to be electric. We've got to win that game as well. Then if we win every single game between now and the end of the year, we will be top of La Liga. Do not panic. Beat Sociedad, beat Real Madrid. Those are the targets. Those are the ambitions. We've got to show some consistency. We've got to show some character. These players have got to stay motivated, like we saw tonight. Continue that professionalism. Continue that drive, that hunger. Win these games. Get these results. And we can keep going and keep making progress. We are still in the hunt for all three trophies this season. Do not miss it. I'll see you very, very soon. Leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you soon. Vesca, El Barça.